Today we are making strawberry cheesecake pancakes. That's pancakes cooked with a cheesecake swirl right in the batter and topped with some syrupy strawberries and whipped cream. Let's go. First things first, let's make our syrupy strawberries. We're gonna start with a pint of strawberries. We're gonna add them to a bowl. Then we're gonna add about a couple tablespoons of baking soda. Then we're gonna add some water, get that a little mixy mix with our fingers. Now we're gonna let this soak for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna rinse them, pat them dry, then we're gonna slice these into some nice thinly sliced slices. That sounds pretty obvious, doesn't it? Slice them into slices, whatever. Now a few of them we're going to leave whole and just slice the ends off because I think it'd be a nice addition along with the sliced strawberries to also bite into a nice whole syrupy strawberry. Grab a medium bowl and then we're gonna add all of our strawberries to our bowl. And don't forget your whole strawberries, okay? They're going in with the rest of them slices. Now, right to the bowl with your strawberries, we're gonna add half a cup of granulated sugar. Now, give this all a good mix. Then, let these sit for at least 10 minutes. And you're gonna see all that sugar is gonna pull those moistures from the strawberries. It's gonna get nice and thick and syrupy and delicious. Next, grab a block of cream cheese and let's go make this cream cheese swirl. So to the bowl of our stand mixer, we're going to add four ounces of softened cream cheese. To that, add three tablespoons of granulated sugar sugar while your stand mixer is on medium low speed. Then add about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, but I only had a few drops left, so I figured might as well pour the whole bottle in. Then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of whole milk. And then that's it. We're gonna continue mixing this until everything is nice and smooth, silky smooth. Look at that. Now grab a Ziploc bag or a piping bag. No, a piping bag or a Ziploc bag. Preferably a piping bag. I should have said piping bag first. Just something that you can squeeze this out of later and start filling it with your cream cheese mixture. And just set that to the side until we need it. Give your strawberries a quick mix. You can see how syrupy they're getting. Absolutely delicious. Now let's make our pancake batter. Grab a large bowl and to that we're gonna add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour plus three and a half teaspoons of baking powder one teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of granulated sugar now give that a mix and make a little well in the center because we are going to add in one and one fourth cups of whole milk and we're going to crack in one egg go ahead and give this a mix and once it starts to come together, drizzle in four tablespoons of melted butter and then mix this until just barely combined, okay? You want this to be a little lumpy. Large skillet over medium heat, add a little bit of butter or some nonstick spray. Now we're gonna add about two scoops of our pancake batter right to our hot frying pan in the butter and we're gonna swirl it out into a little circle, a little flat circle. Now, once our pancake starts to form some bubbles around the tops and the sides, we're gonna go ahead and add a swirl of that cream cheese cheesecake filling onto the bottom of our pancake. Give it about another minute. Then we are going to flip that pancake and cook the other side for about two to three minutes. After that, you pretty much just gonna repeat the same process. Two scoops of pancake mix, let it cook, then get on your cream cheese cheesecake swirl, flip it over, let the other side cook, get it off the heat, boom, boom, boom. Now we're ready to build, we're ready to assemble. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down with a pancake. Then we're gonna do a swirl, one more swirl of our cream cheese cheesecake filling for even more of a cheesecake taste. Another pancake on top, another swirl, another pancake on top, another swirl. Once we're all stacked, we're going down with our sugary, syrupy strawberries. Okay, put as much as your heart desires, plus a big splash of that strawberry syrup right over the top. Then we're going with a nice, big amount of whipped cream. You gotta have the whipped cream on these. A couple of those big sugary syrupy strawberries like I was talking about earlier. And we're gonna garnish with a couple of real strawberries, real strawberries, with a couple of regular strawberries. And that's it. Our strawberry cheesecake pancakes are done. Looking amazing, looking delicious. Now, let me tell you, honest review, these were delicious. No, these were amazing. The cheesecake flavor, it really comes through on this. Those syrupy strawberries are delicious. It goes great with the cheesecake flavor. And it's like the bottom where the cheesecake swirl was it got nice and crispy when you flip the pancake over oh my gosh these were amazing now if i could change or improve on one thing i would have put more of that strawberry syrup okay these pancakes were super thick and since i didn't put any butter or any syrup they can be kind of dry because they're so thick so i would have put more strawberry syrup over these otherwise they were fantastic all right y'all that's it for this video that's it for me let me know what you think about these and let me know if you're going to try these also let me know if you have any requests and i'll definitely get to them all right y'all like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one.